Howdy y'all, this is K1 Locks today I come to you with lock pin by Bears Back entitled Who Knows number two. And we're just gonna dig right in here because I have been trying to pick on this thing for a minute now. As you can see the line I have right here. So let's go ahead and just dig right in on this some bit, shall we? We're gonna try to do some bitch picking because bitch, because it's all this other normal picking and it just ain't working. Now, like I said, I have picked this picked on this thing a couple times. First time I got it. it took me about 15, 10, 15 minutes maybe, and I didn't get it on the film. You know my, about me and trying to get stuff on the film. So anyway, uh, didn't happen. That's all right. I'll get her this time. Or that's what I told myself anyway. There we go. We got her. So, fifth time of 10 minute intervals. I picked twice. Nice. Let's go ahead and uh, dig into this puppy and see what we have in it, shall we? Bear's back. Nice job on the lock, my man. Whew. What a rough little bugger. If you haven't picked a bear's back lock, man, you all need to. His, this uh, is by no way an accurate representation of what really goes on with his locks, man. His locks are for, go vary from damn difficult sorry about that I had a little ring ding ding there I'll be right back with you hopefully that didn't get glitch anything out so uh, what am I going to do here I'm going to try to put a shim shimmy shimmy shim shake in here you know we're going to lock it back up actually and use the key and use a shimmy shim shim. Huh. Sorry, let me back this up so it doesn't show me coming out of the screen. So I keep this thing in screen as possible. Oh, come on, bitch. <laughs> right. Hmm. Yo, I don't even know how to get this damn thing out of here. Gets this thing apart. So not turn counterclockwise. Pick the retainer pin. Good. Pick the retainer pin. Pick the retainer pin. Where is the retainer pin? Huh. 
I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I'm not going down without a fight on this one. I can't. It didn't take long to pick it, but I can't prove that I picked it because I can't get this thing open. Oh, you can see threading on it. Okay. Pick the retainer pin. Where is the retainer pin? Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Now we got something. I got something. Here we go. Let's see if I can get the shim in here now. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. That took me a little bit. Figured it out, though. <laughs> okay, now I need to find. There's. I've really gotten this thing backwards.
Okay, well, I just knocked all the pins out, most of them anyway. But that's okay, because I'll get them back in there. Let's see what we got here. Uh, absolute terrible job with getting this. I've never had such an impossible time trying to get something. Uh. Okay, here's one. Let's see what we've got here, number one. Two pins for number one. Sarah is full on two. There you go, right there with the spool. Sorry. And a standard. Oh. Oops. Sorry. That's the bad pin. And there we go. So let's see what we got here. So we have a standard, serrated, a standard, serrated, a standard, a serrated T pin, a serrated spool, a spool with serrations, serrations, and a serrated spool. All right, folks, again, this comes from Bear's Back. This is all I completely spaced on it, and I need to show you what he did with the core and with the, uh, well, Bible. So let's get zoomed in here better. All right, so core on this thing shows he has done serrations or it's serrated on one, two, four, and five with counter milling on number three. On one side, on one side, not both. Okay. And in the Bible, he has serrated every single every single one here in the Bible as you can see here at the top so again this is K1 Lock saying be safe be legal and be the lock